Welcome to day 17 of the Course in Mastery. Today, Tom Wood is going to discuss the impact that your self-image has on your success and everything you do. Then Dr. Dennis Waitley is going to share the amazing thought patterns of a winner. Here's Tom. Thanks, Coral. Do you really want more success in life? Well, psychologists have shown that the one factor that determines success more than anything else is self-esteem. Self-esteem is the value you place on yourself. Someone with high self-esteem sees high value on themselves. And the most significant factor of people with high self-esteem is that they take responsibility. When they take responsibility, they notice their achievements and accomplishing things gives them higher self-esteem. It's a vicious cycle. How do you get on this upward spiral of responsibility, accomplishment, and self-esteem? Well, the truth is you're already on it. You just have to notice it. You have to notice that you do take responsibility in your life and you do have accomplishments. By noticing those two, it will give you more self-esteem. As you build that self-esteem, you'll start to take more responsibility and you'll start to have more accomplishments. It's real important that you focus your eyes, your ears, and your thoughts on what you currently already do well. You can also do this for your kids. Now realize that self-esteem does not come from praise. It comes from accomplishment. It comes from feeling that the praise is warranted. So don't just praise your kids. Give them challenges to overcome. And when they do overcome them, praise them for the challenges. And then also look honestly and directly at where they didn't accomplish and what they can do next time to improve. That honesty will give them self-esteem. My father knew that Warranted praise from many sources, from different people, build self-esteem faster. So what he did was at the dinner table, he asked each person to go around the table and give praise to each other person. Well, he understood the value of self-esteem, but he forgot about kids. When it came to my turn, I looked at my sister and I said, Mary, your zits look great today. And your dress is not as ugly as everybody at school says. <laughs> well, the great thing was that my dad never did that again at the dinner table and learned a really valuable lesson. Kids are mean. Remember, when you give praise, make sure it's warranted praise. And when your kids give praise, make sure they're giving warranted praise. One other strategy I have for building self-esteem, I learned by accident. I was having a great year, and in my journal I wrote down all the great things that started happening to me. Now a woman I was dating at the time picked up my journal and jokingly said, hey, can I read your journal? I didn't realize she was joking, and I said, yeah, sure, go ahead and read it. She said, are you serious? You'll let me read your journal? And I thought to myself, there's really nothing negative in that journal, nothing I wouldn't want anyone to know. What I realized is, that journal had become a way for me to build my own self-esteem. I didn't even care if anybody else saw it. In fact, I was proud to show it to people. What I did from there was, every time I had a negative experience in my life, I would either write it down in a throwaway journal and throw it away eventually, and then put the problem and the solution in my journal, my journal of joy. So what I suggest is, if you have a journal, create a incredible journal called your journal of joy and if you have tough things to write down write them down in throwaway journals this will be your journal of self-esteem you can look back at your life and say man what an amazing life I've had that is something that you deserve do that today thanks for listening today this was an important day for me and I hope it was an important day for you here's Coral to introduce you to our expert today and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow Thanks, Tom. Today's expert, Dr. Dennis Waitley, is one of the most respected authors, keynote lecturers, and productivity consultants in the area of high-performance human achievement. He has counseled winners in a variety of fields, including Apollo astronauts, Super Bowl champions, and corporate executives, and for the last decade has been responsible for performance enhancement of all U.S. Olympic athletes. In this next clip, Dennis shares the inspiring thought patterns of an Olympic athlete. Now think about this. These are the people who have become the best at what they do. It's incredibly eye-opening. I want you to think to yourself as you're watching this clip how you could apply the principles that he's discussing to your own life. Here's Dennis.